Thank you for coming this afternoon. Uh, as the, uh, the video indicated, I'm Stu Karoff, and I'd like to take a moment and tell you what I am not. I am not a coder. I am not a software developer. I am not a system administrator. I'm not one of those guys who manages to keep the networks at our schools up and running. I'm a teacher. More specifically, I am the technology coordinator at our school, and I get to work with an amazing group of kids that have made some really cool things happen, and we're going to be sharing that with you today. The Asian Penguins start every club meeting with a call and response. The meeting leader, always a kid, will stand up and ask the other kids, what are we trying to do? To which the kids respond, change the world. Then the meeting leader asks, how do you change the world? To which the kids respond, be crazy enough to think you can. What are the Asian penguins? Are they a computer club? Well, yes. Are they a tech support group that provides support for some of the computers in our building? Partly, yes. Are they something cute that our communications guys occasionally put on the Facebook page? Oh yeah, we, we do that too. And, but are they a force for change that works to improve people's lives through the power of open source software? Most definitely yes. In short, the Asian Penguins are a Linux users group. Well, how did all this start? Back in 2011, I was a new teacher at Community School of Excellence, and our school had just started its one-to-one -one laptop program. And it wasn't long before we discovered what so many schools had discovered before us. Middle schoolers break laptops. <laughs> Lots of them. And to overcome the shortage of laptops that I was running into in my room, I applied for and got a hardware grant from a great nonprofit in Minneapolis called Free Geek Twin Cities. Among other things, Free Geek works to close the digital divide by recycling computers using Linux as the operating system. Why Linux? Because Linux is a free open source operating system, which means that it is free of cost and is free of restrictions. So they're able to use it on as many computers as they want. That helps to keep costs down. Well, I now had four Linux desktop PCs in my room, and it wasn't too long before the kids really started to get into using them. They loved how Linux was fast. It was eye-catching. It was different. And it uh, helped them get their schoolwork done, even though they had destroyed their school computer. A group of these kids started to congregate in my room in the afternoons, after school, just to use the computers while they were waiting for the after-school program to start. I thought it would be fun to start teaching them how this hardware and software worked. So I started conducting lessons with them, ultimately moving on to having the kids learn how to install the operating system itself. I thought such a group ought to have a name. It seemed like a club was forming. I suggested to the kids, Asian penguins. After all, the kids were Asian, and the mascot of Linux was a penguin. So we put those two things together. The kids all liked it, and we've used that name ever since. And that's the first group of penguins there from, uh, from 2012. Those kids are all in high school now. Year two, we uh, conducted an experiment using the school laptops uh, during that year. We got permission to replace Windows 7 on a small handful of the student computers using Linux instead, and the kids who had those computers had to do the same work that their peers were doing, but they had to use Linux to do it rather than Windows. Those kids would periodically report how the experiment was going for them, and at the end of the year, we surveyed those students to see what they thought. And the results weren't even close. The kids who took part in the experiment overwhelmingly preferred using Linux to Windows for speed, look and feel, and general stability. Now, while our school still mostly uses Windows, I can proudly say that as a result of this experiment and other things like it, 
Our technology plan at our school states that we are one school with three platforms. Windows, iOS, and Linux. But why use Linux at all? Well, there's a few reasons. First off, it's free. Show me a school that doesn't struggle with resources. If you can get something free, maybe you should consider using it, and that includes software. Second, while our school is using Linux, most schools in the United States are not. If you want to stand out, don't do what everyone else is doing. We're giving our students at CSC a unique educational technology experience that they will not get at any other school. And we've checked. CSC is the only Linux users group, or I'm sorry, CSC is the only Hmong school in the world that has a Linux users group as a student club. Our kids are getting to do something special, and they benefit from that. But another reason for using Linux at school is while schools are not using a lot of Linux, it seems everybody else is. Linux runs the servers that run the internet. It runs the cloud, embedded devices, stock exchanges. More and more things are using Linux all the time. And according to the 2016 Dice, uh, Dice slash Linux Foundation jobs report, when they surveyed Fortune 500 companies, small and medium sized businesses, government agencies, and nonprofits, what is your number one hiring need for the next six months for IT? 65% of them said we need more people who know open source and that would include Linux. 65%. What are schools doing about it? We say we're trying to prepare students for the future, it doesn't look like we're preparing them for the present. But, that's a discussion for another time. Let's talk about what happened next. The kids in our club started to look at their peers at our school and noticing their own digital divide. And at that time, CSC had a student population, about 30% of them did not have computers in their homes. Number one reason was cost. For a new-to-country family just fresh out of the refugee camp in Thailand, that brand new computer on sale at Best Buy might as well be on the moon. It's just not going to happen. Cost was a big deal. And our kids started to say, if Free Geek can do something about it, maybe we can too. So we got some used computers, the kids installed Linux on them, and we found some families to help. The first family, was a Kareni family of eight, who at that point had been in the United States not even two months yet. They, the family welcomed us into their home, the kids set up the computer for them, and then explained how to use it. It was our first attempt, and we had to make it up as we went along. But when we were done, that family had a new computer, they'd seen the basics of the software, and we'd made some new friends. After that first trip, the kids started to call those trips missions. And every kid in the club wanted to go on one. And it wasn't hard to figure out why. Other people talk about changing the world. Asian penguins get to skip class for an hour and go out and do it. That attracted other kids to the club, and the club started to grow from there, and we started to see new and exciting things happen all the time as a result. Shy kids started becoming more confident, stepping up into leadership things. Special needs kids who had trouble making friends found acceptance in the club, and some of them even got to go out and lead missions themselves. And all of them got that sense of pride that, that comes from knowing that they got to help somebody. And it all started because some kids wanted to try something different, thought it might be fun to change the world, and were crazy enough to think they could. We're going to be hearing from several of them today, so they're, they're going to tell bits of our story, but I'd like to thank you all for coming, and I will bring on our first one. Thank you.